Hi, my name is Julie Thornton. I'm a librarian at the Leland Speed Library in Clinton, Mississippi. And today I'm going to read an excerpt from Tim O'Brien's The Things We Carried. It was banned basically for profanity, but also for its graphic depiction of the Vietnam War. It was challenged in many areas, but banned in two particular places, among others, the Troop School District in Texas and in George County, Mississippi. Um, I found it interesting, I found this book interesting because I would not have picked it up had I not had to read it in college, but it also helped me understand my father more because he was a Vietnam vet. And I also found out that the author, Tim O'Brien, was the same age I am now when he wrote this book. And one of the chapters that really resonated with me, and I probably haven't read this book in 30 years, but it never left me, was about a soldier whose girlfriend comes to visit him uh, in Vietnam. And she's just an all-American girl, and this is what happens to her. 17 years old, just a child, blonde and innocent, but then weren't they all? I didn't know it was all that complicated. The girl joined the zoo. One more animal, end of story. At the end, her eyes utterly flat and indifferent. There was no emotion in her stare, no sense of the person behind it. All the girls at the girl's throat was a necklace of human tongues. What happened to her was what happened to all of them. You come over clean and you get dirty. And then afterward, it's never the same. A question of degree. Some make it intact, some don't make it at all. For many, Marianne Bell, it seemed, Vietnam had the effect of a powerful drug. One morning, Marianne walked off into the mountains and did not come back. Nobody was ever found. Thank you for supporting Banned Books Week and do your part to support the First Amendment. Go out today and read a banned book.